now the Dunbar High School boys basketball team is playing its first game since head coach Keith Booth was fired. And 11 Sports Pete Gilbert just got done speaking with the coach. Mm -hmm. He's uh, joining us in the studio with the very latest. Pete, what do you have to say? Well, Keith Booth was understandably frustrated yesterday when I spoke with him about his dismissal at Dunbar. Then he saw the letter from Dunbar Principal Dr. Yatunda Reeves that was sent to parents and students of the school saying that Booth was no longer the coach. In the letter, it states that there was a personnel matter and that they would not discuss it further. But Dunbar, quote unquote, strongly encourages everyone to avoid speculation and gossip in this matter, end quote. That led Keith Booth to hire legal representation, wanting to make sure that his side of the story will be told. Booth returned to Dunbar this season after more than a decade as an assistant college coach. He wanted to work with the kids at his alma mater as basketball coach and mentor. When he saw the letter from Dr. Reeves, one that he believes makes him sound guilty of an incident himself, he wanted to make clear that, that was not the case. Because the letter was sent out, you know, basically let the parents know to uh, not speculate on anything, to avoid any gossip whatsoever. I just want to make it clear for the record that there wasn't any... We, there's no reason to speculate or to gossip about anything as it pertains to myself in regards to this incident or the situation of me getting fired. Um, yes, there was an incident that took place uh, because the incident involved students um, and, and something happened between two students. It's something I really can't go into, but it did happen under my supervision. But at the same time, I follow what I deem to be proper protocol in terms of handling that situation. Well, it's, it's very disappointing, but at the same time, you know, Things happen, you know, there's, you know, people have motives for whatever reason, but at the same time, I take full responsibility as a leader of the program for whatever takes place within that program. And I know I can sleep at night knowing that we did everything with a pure heart. Our intentions were pure from day one, myself and my assistant coach, Blood Cousin Dante. We did everything with a pure heart, and our intentions have been pure from the beginning. Just unfortunately, we won't get a chance to go forward.